and about five blocks from here, I took my first jewelry class. And when I opened my little shoebox full of stuff, the girls all fucked around, and that was fun. 20 years ago, and about five miles from here, I had a, a fine jewelry store. It, and if someone was intimidated by our fancy facade and our dazzling diamonds, we'd say, come on in and play. And they would, and that was fun. My startup, CustomJeweler.com, will allow you to play. Think of it as Build-A-Bear for custom jewelry. You are the designer, and like Build-A-Bear, your design is unique and created with heart. And don't worry, you will have the help and guidance of the most talented jewelers in the world. I believe that designing your own jewelry shouldn't be intimidating. It should be engaging and memorable. I believe we can profitably replicate this fun experience online. A custom jeweler, an experience, not a shopping cart. I need web design, marketing, social media, and business experts. Most of all, I want a team that will have fun. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Um, I want to start by reading this first slide. I promise I won't read any more. We'll just make stuff up after that. But um, I found this in our second party um, research. Millennials want to be the ones to tell the retailer what they want and have the products respond to their preferences or have the opportunity to customize the products. And uh, this is from a consumer psychologist and a professor at Golden Gate University. Um, and, and customizing jewelry online is what custom jewelry will do. Um, and I think we'll move right into our product. Okay, so as Randy mentioned, times they are changing and we want to be able to meet the needs of these customers by making it so that they can customize their jewelry, their beautiful pieces on their own or in a way that's easy for them. And we have a wonderful friend named Heather. An imaginary friend. An imaginary friend, because everybody knows I'm crazy. If you want to click on the box for us there, yeah, that's great. Okay, here's Heather, and she has her very own jewelry box on customjewelry.com. And as you can see, she's already done quite a few designs. She's got about six rings up there that she's already designed. But we're going to go ahead and start a new design for her. If you want to click on start a design for us. Okay, she chose about five different rings that she'd like to look at with this particular design experience. Next slide, please. And here are some things she can use to make that ring look really fancy by doing some ornamentation on the metal itself. And she's chosen the middle one, as you can see, here's our silver one, and you want to speak to it. Um, just to give them a small sample we did for this, there's five different rings. There are five different pieces of ornamentation. We haven't run into stones. And there are five metals that we'll be using on the web card side, from sterling to stainless to carat gold to platinum. And just with those minimal amount of, of parts, you have 625 variations. And we'll show you a few of those. So let's look at some of the variations she chose. She wants to go with gold here, with the same pattern. And here she wants to do two different tones of gold. So let's do silver band with a golden uh, center. She's reversed that here for us. And here she's going with a different pattern, and I think we have one more over there where she's reversed that. And if you see down the lower left of our website, she can share all five or six of these designs with her friends to help have them help her decide which one she actually wants to send to our jewelers to have created for her as her final piece. Okay, um, obviously our partners will be the custom jewelers. Fortunately, Randy has 40 years experience in the business and has made great relationships. His last 15 have been in a non-competitive environment. He's made great relationships. We've got 10 jewelers that would like, really like to get in on our beta testing and our prototyping. Um, yeah, the, the pieces you see here get to the heart of um, our revenue model. Um, we are selling retail jewelry, and we are paying the designers a small uh, royalty for their designs. All of these pieces are designed by one of the jewelers that's interested in our concept. And you'll notice they all use the exact same motif on the sides of the ring. Um, this gentleman's been an early adapter of something. I've been testing a concept of reusing um, design elements over and over again. It saves them a lot of time, which is the, the main problem with doing every piece, uh, reinventing the wheel with every piece. Um, just to give you an idea, this jeweler um, has already cut off his orders for 
Christmas. Most jewelers cut off their orders for Christmas about the first week of December. He's that far ahead. And, and that speaks to the fact that the designs are popular. This also gives us a, a competitive advantage in that we're manufacturing pieces that we're not investing a lot of time. So we can do custom design online and do it in a manner that is cost competitive with conventionally manufactured pieces that it's just a shopping cart. Next slide. Okay, and we're gonna allow Heather to share not only her designs that she's thinking of, but the whole process. Normally when you go and do a custom anything, you're gonna go into the jewelry shop each step of the way, and the jeweler's gonna show you what they've done so far so that you can go, okay, we're gonna do this online and allow Heather and her friends to be involved and make this truly their project, their own, they're gonna design it from the heart, and by the time they get this, it's gonna be their baby that they're in love with. Um, yeah, this is just another uh, uh, thing we're going to do is, is we're going to take those images and we're going to use them for um, uh, a heavy social media process so that we are keeping the people involved. Next slide. Uh, go through these. We did do some surveys, although we found that um, uh, what, we, what we found was we, we had a lot more research to do. We, uh, made some mistakes during this, this, this uh, period of time and we're happy that we did because now we know what we need to do to test them all from this point on. And we need to start with the beta. We need an actual working website. Thank you. Yep.